In a comment on my video yesterday, DR Steele asked the great question, what is up with this annoying co-pilot icon that we cannot kill? Why is it there? How do we get rid of it? This is one that's driving me crazy, but I've got a solution. This thing, are you getting this? Oh my God, everywhere we go, it's showing up. This is a completely blank range. Why are you showing me this stuff? Why? Why do you think I need Copilot right here? Where's the setting to get rid of it? No, there is no global setting to turn it off. The only thing you can do is go back to, I don't know, perpetual Excel where you don't have 365 anymore. Okay, thanks to John and Kapora for figuring out that the way to open that item is to hold down the Alt key and then, what is this? The right click key, the context key, the application key, the program key, I have a million names for it. So this and then this very quickly will open that item and then H. So bam, bam, H. Alt, program key, let go of that and then press H, right? But this only hides for this workbook until I reopen this document tomorrow. I'm gonna need it. I press control N and it's gonna come back right it, it's not a good solution at all so i went to my good friend suat this morning i said suat there must be some way that we can do this with vba like send keys or something like that right here i am in the immediate window i'm going to ask for application.command bars copilot menu controls dot count and it says that there are 14 controls in that little menu they aren't showing them all to me right now there must be some that come and go but now that I know how many there are, and the one that I want is the 14th one, so I can ask for controls14.caption and learn in my language, it's hide until I reopen this document. Now, if you're in some other language, you should go do this in VBA so that we can get that bit of text, which then means that in VBA, we can execute that item. So it finds the Copilot menu, finds the control called hide until I reopen this document and then clicks execute, <laughs> right? Do you see where I'm going with this? Oh my gosh. So we need a personal macro workbook over here on the left-hand side, personal.xlsb. If you don't have one, I'll put a link down in the YouTube comments to how to create your own personal XLSB. We don't want to put it in a module. We want to come here to Microsoft Excel objects. We want to go to this workbook, right click and say view code. We're going to set up a little class module here. And I'll put this code that I'm about to paste down in the YouTube comments. So it's basically saying when this workbook opens, when personal.xlsb opens, we're going to create something called uh, a variable called app. And anytime that we either do control N for new or open a workbook, it's going to go execute hide until I reopen this document. This is going to essentially kill this annoying thing that Microsoft will not give us a way to get rid of and we're gonna get rid of it ourselves. Now, would it be nice to be able to turn it back on? Sure, you could do that. Uh, just come here and comment out this one line of code, close Excel, reopen Excel, and then the thing comes back. But let's just do a little test here. So I'm gonna save my personal XLSB, we'll close VBA, I'll save this workbook, exit Excel, and then reopen Excel, that'll reopen personal.xlsb and run our new code. The icon is gone, thank God. If I open a workbook that exists, the icon is gone, right? What was Microsoft thinking that they decided to put this in our face with no way for us to get rid of it? Thank God for my friend Suat, who figured out some way to be able to get rid of this. Hopefully Microsoft will give us something easier than this code. Uh, so that way we can just turn it on and turn it off. I'll do a video later talking about what the chiclet does and what it's good for and what it's not good for. And it, the bigger question of should it even be there if it's not working well yet? That'll be for another day. For today though, just copy this code, go to your personal XLSB, find under Microsoft Excel objects, this workbook, right click, view code, paste it, Close Excel, reopen Excel, and the thing will be gone. Well, hey, I want to thank DR Steele for sending that question in, and I want to thank Suat for giving us that awesome code. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.
Just wanna grind, but this floating curse won't leave. 